Tommy. Well, finally, for now, Spike Island in Cork is now officially a tourist attraction. The former prison has undergone a multi-million euro transformation. The sound of a gun salute signalled a new beginning for Spike Island, now hotly tipped to become one of the country's top tourist destinations. With over 100,000 coming in the cruise ships alone every year to COVID, there's a really considerable market for us to aim for. So certainly the European, the British and the American market will be very important for this site. Dubbed Ireland's Alcatraz and set on 104 acres of land, Spike Island has undergone a 6 million euro transformation outlining the history of the prison, which dates back to the 7th century. This former punishment block was once home to Dublin criminal Martin Cahill, also known as the General. Everything you hear about the history of the place, from a Victorian prison to a modern day prison, to the facility that has become today, uh, has, it's a story that we're telling. It goes back hundreds of years. 1,600 bodies are thought to be buried on Spike Island, with many people believing some parts of the former prison are haunted. Coveman Michael Gould was the last soldier to serve on the island in 1997 before it was transferred to the Department of Justice. I remember when there were families here living in the island. I remember when there were 43 families living in the island. I remember three school teachers in the island. In 1985, young offenders staged a rooftop protest. A number of criminals did manage to escape on a life raft, but were picked up a few hours later. Between Cove and now Spike Island and Camden Fort Mara as well, there's a lovely cluster developing and it will really bring the, the experience of the harbour to life at Maritime Cork. Cork County Council took charge of the island in 2010. It's now envisaged that by 2020, 100,000 people will visit the historic site each year. Paul Byrne, TV3 News, Spike Island, County Cork. Well, that's it for now. Stay tuned for your weather forecast.